Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you on how to create a cross tab query in Microsoft Access. Our sample guys would be like this, contents of 40 records, 40 lines, and as you can see, the type, this is in category, mutual aid, membership pay, hospitalization pay, and redundant. So, when we apply to cross tab query, the result would be this one. From 40 lines, so the result would be in four lines and then the category would be at the top at the header hospitalization p membership p and also the mutual aid and the total of course so how to do that let's start in the menu let's choose create and then let us go to queries queries group and let us choose this one query wizard instead of query design and then choose cross tab query and click ok and then at the top asking which table or query contains the record so it's in the table guys this one and then this is the list of tables we're gonna choose this one monthly contribution click next and then the field for this so we click dates and then next and then our header would be the type click next and then here below the value would be the amount and then it is sum because it's total next okay finish so the result guys would be like this hospitalization pay membership pay mutual aid for the total we can drag it okay so for this to make like this starting date and ending date so all we have to do let us go to home and then design let us add another dates two dates okay and then let us select the row heading and then we gonna rename this as starting date shape f2 or zoom starting date okay okay this one also ending date Okay, for this, this is invoice date. I mean contribution year. Let's try. Okay. So for this, we gonna put only the year. To do that, if to let's put right comma the four or four digits at that, at the right. Okay. Oops. Sorry. Let us see. Okay, that one. Let us check. Okay, 2014 to 2017. Now, to make it short, the total in my last video, I used the uh, first function and the last function. But today, I'm going to use the minimum and for the ending date is the maximum. So what is the difference between minimum and the first record? or the first by the way the minimum this is the minimum value or the smallest value while the first is the refer to the first record and then for maximum this is the maximum or the highest value while the last function this one this is the last um, last record 
So if you are not sure with your entry, so better to use this minimum and maximum. Let's try. Okay. From February to March 2014. Let us check. The data is February to March 2014. This one. So for the year 2014, only this one. And then 2015, from May to 11, uh, November, let us check. May to November 2014. Still check. I think this is enough. And if you have some question, you know what to do, just comment it down below. And by the way, if you are new to this channel and wants to learn more about Microsoft Access, then please consider subscribing this channel for more informative videos. Once again, Thank you and see you to my next video.